all right so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial so you guys already know we're gonna go ahead and start with the piano first so i'm gonna go into almond sphere go into a keyscape library and i'm just gonna go to cinematic go ahead and exit out quick and i'm just gonna want a delay on this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on this little magnifying glass while it's on the a and i'm just gonna go to la custom c7 release and i'm just put no release sound source so now it has a bit of a tail on the piano. And from here, make sure to go to your typing keyboard to piano keyboard, right click and set it to minor harmonic. That's the scale I'll be working on. And also I do have the BPM set to 140. Anyway, let's go ahead and start laying down the melody. So that's the melody I'm going to be working with. Uh, one thing I will do is slow down the tempo because it just felt a little too fast. So I'm going to go to one fourth beat and just quantize the notes. I'm just going to bring it down one semitone. And I'm just going to keep it basic for right now and let's go ahead and just start adding some drums. So for the hi-hats, I'm just going to fill it for each two steps right now, uh, just to get the rhythm going. And let's go ahead and just place the claps. This is just the easy steps right here. Now I'm just going to right click onto the 808 and cut itself. Go into the piano roll. And now let's go ahead and lay down the bass. It's going to be pretty simple since we already know where the notes at. Now I'm just going to go ahead and copy the 808 to the kick pattern and make sure go into your kick pattern and push alt K just to make sure it's on C5. I'm just going to add a soft clipper to the master so I don't mess you guys' uh, speakers up or anything. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and layer it up. So I'm going to push Alt-C to clone my VST channel. Uh, it's pretty much just a shortcut to uh, duplicate your channel, whatever channel you're using. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and just browse through some sounds and see what I can find. Now I'm just going to push all C once more just to duplicate it. Oh yeah, and don't forget to add a uh, open hat. A lot of this stuff is just optional. And I'm not saying adding an open hat is my process. I'm just saying like, you don't have to listen to everything. But it's always good to just, you know, learn. And now the final part, I'm just going to duplicate the piano once more. And I'm just going to test this out, see how it sounds with a uh, lower octave note. Let's go to mess around with the hi-hats just a bit. I'm going to add this to a half set.
right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and color the select channels that I have. And let's go ahead and just set them to their own uh, mixture channels. Once you have them all highlighted, just push Control Shift L. Go ahead and add a master. I'm just going to go with my mastering preset. You already know. And if you guys want to learn how to make some master, you guys can go ahead and watch my tutorial on mixing and mastering. Or you guys can go ahead and cop my Studio Plug official mixing and mastering preset kit. I'm just going to put a switch smart disable for all plugins. That way it's uh, all plugins are not activated. And I'll just re uh, reserve a little bit of CPU. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna go and just uh, EQ a little bit of it. All right, this is starting to act up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and export this and also just taking off the uh, effect that it has. So quick render as audio clip just to reserve all that CPU and stop the crackling. If you guys experience it like how I'm experiencing it now. So set it to its own channel, normalize. I'm just gonna go into the uh, hi hats now. So make sure to go into the piano roll for the hi hats and go ahead and push all R. Make sure that the pattern is deselected and the levels is on. And just mess around with the panning. Make sure you're not messing around with anything else unless you want to uh, figure out what they are. It's just pretty much the pitching and velocity will be like the main ones that actually make a difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and seat it, which is pretty much just changing them from left ear to right ear on the panning. And then after this part, just go ahead and split by channel. So I'm going to highlight all of them besides uh, the main piano that I have up here. Because uh, we pretty much exported that. So we already have it out. And let's go ahead and lay it down. I'm just going to add a crash quick. I'm going to make this crash unique and reverse it. Go to reverse. I'm gonna dive into it and 
I'm just gonna cut it up just a bit. So make sure you have turned off the stretch, push alt and just drag it down or else it's gonna stay stuck to whatever magnet you had it on. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it in. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe give me some feedback and if you guys like to purchase the kits used i have the kits down in the description below but anyway that is all for this video i'm gonna let the beat play out now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time